Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with How to Kill a Kit with Style February with my kit share. So if you guys saw my video yesterday, then you know today's kit is Felicity Jane. I um, was trying to be really good last month and, or not last month, last year. And um, it was right around Christmas. And of course it was Black Friday and I went to Felicity Jane's website and I um, really did not have the budget to buy a lot because I had to still buy Christmas. Um, but I was on Zoom with ladies and we were talking about what Black Friday sales we saw and we kind of all talked each other into buying Felicity Jane stuff. So this is their fault, but I am really glad in the end because I talked myself out of buying this collection and then um, got talked into it and I'm really happy that I have it now. I've missed working with Felicity Jane and I've missed having a full Felicity Jane collection. So this is their November collection from last month. I don't remember the name of it and I don't remember what's all in it because I pretty much ordered it and forgot it until it got here. So <laughs> we're gonna open it up together. I know it's a autumn Felicity Jane kit, so I'm going to love it. Here's a little freebie card they give you. Beautiful, beautiful black bow. Let's see if I can get it off without untying it. Aha! I love the way they do their bows, and if I can keep them intact and use them on a page, I will. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, it's so cute. Oh, the colors. All right. Let's see if I can... Hang on a second. See if I can slide this stuff out with all the confetti falling out on top of it. <laughs> all right, paper. I'm gonna try and set this aside and just grab one thing at a time. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. So this is the Molly paper pack. That's what it's called. And I just, I love it. I love the colors and I'm surprised I didn't buy it right when it was released in November. But when Black Friday rolled around, it was on sale for like a couple dollars off. And I was like, you know what? We're doing it. So <laughs> there we go. We have our little sneak peek of all the colors. I'm going to save this in case I can use that for layers anyway. Oh, it's so pretty. I love these. These colors are so like, they're muted, but they're rich. And I really love that. So we have our floral, a nice um, rustic kind of burnt orange pink um, diagonal stripe with some like acorns and leaves along the bottom. We have a nice mustard gingham with a tiny black and white Swiss dot on the back and then a burnt orange floral strip. I'm gonna put these on the A-sides because I can't I have to see the pretty stuff. Beautiful kind of aqua cross pattern with black and white stems on the back. I love this color combo, it's already really, really pretty. <laughs> this really beautiful rosy spot. And then a black and white pinstripe. And then we have a mustard diagonal stripe. Ooh, with this rich wood grain on the back. Oh my gosh, this is giving me Hannah vibes. I love it. Oh my gosh, this wood grain, it's so pretty. A nice bold scallop on the bottom as well. I'm keeping this one on this side. <laughs> Usually I always go for the A side on Felicity Jane, but this one is gonna be a B side paper, 100%. <laughs> and then we have um, a kind of an aqua minty, is it aqua? As I have a hard time telling those apart. It's a very bluey green, um, sketchy stripe. And then, ooh, multicolored leaves on the back. Super pretty. I'm gonna leave that one on the leaf side as well. Very autumnal, but because they're A, a and B side, you don't have to use them for autumnal stuff. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just realized with this burnt orange, I have, okay. We're definitely doing my bachelorette winery type stuff this month because I'm wearing a burnt orange shirt in those pictures and like, this is gonna be perfect. <laughs> Our two solids is a burnt orange and a mustard with that uh, minty aqua and dusty pink on the back. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's all the paper we're working with. All right, I'm going to try to blindly just grab things from this box. Oh, we have our pocket cards. Alrighty. It's kind of cute. It's almost like a paint swatch or something with a, a rusty or burnt orange grid. It says sweater weather. 
a smaller print of the floral, a little minty um, fall. The photos actually are in fall too for my bachelorette stuff, everything we did in fall. So this will be perfect for doing that. Kind of have a plain one with a dusty rose uh, diagonal stripe at the top, black and white scallop, a little kind of ticket on a rose background. I'll probably fussy cut that and then use this in a layer or something. Um, smaller print of the acorn leaves. Ooh, this is really cute. I am definitely cutting this out and using that as a circle embellishment. That's really cute, little, little acorn. Um, a diagonal mustard gingham, a minty plaid gingham, <coughs> excuse me, multicolor stripe with all the colors in the collection, and then a little journaling spot. This is really cute. That'll definitely be a journaling spot. So those are all of the pocket cards. What do we have next? Ooh, tags. I love Felicity Jane. They just give me all the things I could possibly want to do the layers I like to do. Oh my goodness, these have like, ooh, those are nice. Look at these, the hardware on these. That's like heavy duty. I love that, oh my gosh. So we have a wreath, black and white stripe, a mustard stripe, the black and white stems, the multicolor floral, and a black and white gingham. Oh my gosh, these tags are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Those are nice. All right, let's look next. We have, ooh, frames. What did I say? Just everything I possibly want to layer with, they gave me. Oh my goodness, they give you a lot too. So again, we have that floral, rusty orange, or dusty, what am I saying? Burnt orange stripe, um, black and white stems, uh, like pink and orange grid, the minty polka dot, and the black and white gingham. I cannot wait to do layery clusters this month. What's next? Oh, little corduroy hearts. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, these, I love these. This is another thing with Felicity Jean. There's always at least one thing that's kind of a different, kind of like fun textural thing. Those are really cute. <laughs> little corduroy hearts. That's adorable. We have some yellow. We have some of the aqua minty. I'm going to call it a mint. I don't know because that looks more aqua. I don't know, guys. And um, pink. Those are really, really cute. I like those. What's left? We have ephemera. 28 die cut pieces. There's more tags in here too. All right, let's see. Come on. Oh my goodness. There's always so much in here. I can never grab it all. <laughs> Okay, so we have some hearts, we have some tags, we have Molly, she's really cute, we have Grateful, we have some florally bits, some sprigs, ooh, a little stack of pumpkins, those are really cute. Cool, I have um, pumpkin patch pictures too, and this would be perfect. I have some labels and tabs, some tickets, another heart, home, little word that says home. Ooh, some orange photo corners. There's another little yellow pumpkin, some leaves, and another heart. Cute. Oh, this collection is so pretty. We're not done yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, so then we have, oh, there's a lot in here. I forget how much you get in a full kit. We have a uh, alpha chipboard sheet. So it's kind of like a gray and white um, grid, but it's like a charcoal gray. That's really pretty. That'll be really versatile too. Oh, and they give you numbers, but I do like that they're all capital. It's, uh, it's really hard when they give you capital and lowercase because um, I don't like mixing and matching. So at least they're all one thing. Get some ampersands. Some asterisks, not a ton. Oh, there are a lot of numbers on here. That's okay. I'll try to use numbers at some point on <laughs> these layouts. <laughs> and then we have, oh, cute little um, 
chipboard stickers, like little confetti bits that are hexagons in all of the colors. I'm gonna hopefully get these on every layout this month. I definitely want to try and use these on every page. Cute, cute, and I think there's one more thing in here. Oh, the stamp set. Okay, so the stamps, um, like very fall and family. So fall favorites, give me all the sweaters, seasons change, family, friends, memories, photos, grateful, fall and thankful, um, home, my greatest blessings together, hashtag blessed November, and then the two little sprigs and the word Molly. Cute. So hopefully I cannot be a wimp and I'll do stamping too. I'm really excited. I wonder if I can go through, this is my kit for this month. I'm gonna go through my photos really quick and see if I can find the ones I'm wanting to scrapbook with this. Cause I feel if I show you the ones I need to scrapbook, then I'm, I, I will have to. Okay, they're not too far either. So I'm only skipping three pages. That's not bad. So we have my winery pictures that I went to with my sister as our little mini bachelorette thing to do together. And I'm wearing this orange shirt. So I think these will be perfect. But then um, a couple weeks after that, me and my mom did a little bachelorette weekend um, in Helen, Georgia. So I have all these photos. So yeah, that will be perfect. So hopefully I'll get the, those two events scrapbooked with this collection this month. And um, I should have a, <laughs> I should have a, um, what am I trying to say? A uh, pumpkin patch picture somewhere. And if I can find it, I'll try and scrapbook that with this kit too, because I think it'll be perfect. But yeah, that is what I'm working with this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out everyone else playing along with How to Kill Kit with Style. See what kits they're going to be using this month. And I will see you in the next process video. Bye.